Hello, my beautiful reader friends. It's Tiffany with an IE, as you can see. Welcome back to my channel. For this video, I will be doing my 2021 reading goals check-in. Um, if you haven't already watched my um, original reading goals video that I put up for this um, at the beginning of the year, I will link it in the cards and also in the description down below. But yeah, so let's just go over these goals again and see at the halfway point in the year how many I've completed and how many more that I still need to finish before the year ends because yeah, that would be nice. <laughs> so my first goal was to um, get to my Goodreads challenge. Um, which is to read 50 books. Every year I always set it at 50 books because I know like, oh, that's an easy goal. I can read 50 books. Um, and then I usually aim higher. Um, usually around now I would be at 100 books, but I'm currently only at 88, which will probably change before this video goes up because I have some more books to read before this video goes up. Um, yeah, so if the number changes, I'll put it up here where <laughs> I am now. But um, yeah, so I'm a little behind on that, but I have reached this goal. And um, my second goal was to read more diversely, which I have been doing. Um, I looked at um, my past years in reading, especially like in 2015 when I first created my Goodreads profile. It was not really diverse because it was just... Well, I mean, diversity was starting to be a thing <laughs> in publishing a bit more. And um, yeah, and I was also just reading a lot of like older books that I'd been meaning to get to and like reading stuff like childhood books that I had never finished. <laughs> so like I read through all the Goosebump books, the classic ones, not the other ones like the series 2000 or the um, choose your scare, like choose your adventure ones. Um, but yeah, just all the classic ones. And I was also reading through Shakespeare's plays at the time, which I finished like a few years after. Um, but yeah, I mean, it wasn't very diverse back then, but slowly but surely, um, my reading years have been getting more diverse and this year has definitely been quite diverse, which I am quite happy <laughs> to report. And then my fourth goal is to finish the books on my currently reading shelf on Goodreads because I have some old books on there that have been there for a few years that I need to finish. Um, let's see, what have I finished? The ones that I've wrote down, that I've written down here. Um, I finished Restore Me um, and I finished Just Mercy. I finished Hidden Figures and I finished Prophecy. And I still have one, two, three, four, four more that I've written down that I haven't finished. But if you check my Goodreads shelf, like currently reading shelf right now, there's like 12 things on there. So, you know, I've added more and I definitely need to finish them all. But, um, yeah. <laughs> okay, so I accidentally skipped <laughs> one of my goals. So um, my third goal is um, to read from new authors this year, and the two authors I chose were Kendar Blake, who wrote the Three Dark Crown series, um, she's also written some other series, and Danielle Page, who is known for the Dorothy Must Die series, and other books as well. Um, I have not started either of those books, so I need to get on that. Um, and then my fifth goal, finish more series. Um, not really. <laughs> so I think I've read like three sequels or so <laughs> um, this year. One of them, I know for sure it's the end of the series because um, it was a duology. That one I read recently. But yeah, I've started a lot of different new series and haven't finished as much. So I need to do that. <laughs> and my next goal is to finish previous challenges and readathons, which, um, I mean, at this point, I hadn't like really 
like started my TBR game yet for um, this year, but now I am behind on a lot of books in my TBR game. So I also have to do that. Um, yeah, so this one, not doing as well. I have finished some of these um, that I've listed here. I've read The Girl on the Well, The Winter of the Witch, um, Laura Dean Keeps Breaking Up With Me, Felix Ever After, The Bone Witch, The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue, um, These Violent Delights, A Creature of Moonlight, The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, and yeah, that's it on this list. I still have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven about seven still on this list that I need to read um but that's not really accurate because I have many more books from previous challenges readathons my tbr game that I need to finish so yeah I'm super behind on that and my last goal which I actually didn't um talk about in my goals video at the beginning of the year because I forgot about it so I wrote about it in the description of that video but I wanted to um read more Lee Bardugo uh noticeably her very um well-known works the Grishaverse because I've only read her short stories which I do enjoy um but I wanted to read um the main Shadow and Bone trilogy because the TV adaptation was coming out and I also wanted to read Six of Crows and Cricket Kingdom and yeah I talked about them in my TBR game for March or April I think it was April um, I still haven't gotten around to them so yeah I definitely need to do that but um, I'm hoping that I can finish those books by the end of this year and then I can finally watch the TV adaptation adaptation um, Although I've heard mixed things about it But yeah, so that is it for my goals video, but yeah, I'm behind on a lot of things and I have even more stuff that I still have to read and my room's a mess so that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it, even though it's more of like um, a talking video instead of me showing you books and stuff. But yeah, I will see you in my next one. And yeah, hope you're doing well. Bye!